Hello and welcome to this Beard Clipper video. Now in this video I'm going to show you how I went about making the Fire Raptor Gunship Squadron from Aeronautica Imperialis. I think that's right anyway. Yeah, Fire Raptor Gunship Squadron. Sorry, memory's a bit short. So this is a full build video where I chatter away and show you from clipping sprues and tidying up the pieces and gluing it all together, how you go about putting this kit together. And interestingly enough, uh, how I do this is I assemble one and then assemble a second one. And the first one I assembled, I did it wrong. <laughs> and I've made quite a, a drastic mistake, which you'll see through the video. But I do pick that up and I get it right on the second uh, assembly. So that might be helpful if you're looking to put this together to just check that out, because it is easy to make this mistake that most of the instructions are absolutely spot on as they always are from Games Workshop, or mostly are. Uh, they seem to be very good for the Aeronautica series, um, but this bit is particularly a little bit confusing and not quite so clear. And uh, yeah, I did make a big mistake in the first build and I'm really frustrated myself, but onwards and upwards, uh, I can't undo it now, so I just gotta live with it. Uh, it's a good, good fun project to do. Uh, this is a really nice model. Um, and uh, now that I've got these built, I'm gonna take them down and try and paint them. Uh, and uh, I'll be releasing the videos on the same day. So somewhere up here, there should be a link to the painting video if you want to go and see that, and it will also be linked in the description. But this is the assembly video. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again at the end. All right, so normally what I'm trying to do is I assemble one, as you can see here, and then with the knowledge and experience I've got assembling that one, I then come along and record myself assembling the second one. And what it's been is weeks literally weeks since I assembled this. However, I am going to give this a go and see whether I can assemble this fully on camera and not do it too terribly. <laughs> so apologies in advance if I make lots of mistakes, um, but yeah, you're gonna see, we're, we're gonna do our best. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. So what we have here is um, one of the sprues. Um, hopefully there's enough of everything on this sprue. I think that um, the way this came, if I'm remembering rightly, this is the problem of not doing it at the same time, is that uh, each sprue is identical. So you have one sprue which builds one and you have one sprue which builds the second one. So let's get stuck in. The, um, the actually had quite a good re reaction and reception. The last um, video like this that I did where I was talking lots and uh, just uh, um, kind of building it live in front of the camera. So hopefully this will get the same, same good reception. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna snip out this part here, which is the main section of the, um, of the cockpit, of the fuselage even. So we're gonna snip that out for section one. And then on the front of that, there is a big kind of dub, two double barrel Gatling gun type things. What I should make very clear here is I am in no way a 40K expert and I know very little about the law or the guns or anything like that. So if you're watching that, watching this video for that, then you're in the wrong place. There's probably thousands of other places, other channels that know more about this than I do. I just like assembling the miniatures because I think they look cool. So quickly take your a hobby knife and just clean off those little bits of burrs that have been left behind by your side snips. Do that before anything else, that's the first thing that you do. There we are. And then let's find the other two pieces. So it's pieces two, three, and four. And this is, there's four, there's four. Now I remember this being a little bit fiddly, so I might move the camera in a little bit closer in a second so that you can see exactly how I'm going about uh, attaching it. But there are some quite small pieces on this, on this kit, just to warn you. There we are. So that's, that was four. And four goes on top of two. Two is the double barreled gun thing, which is right here. Now, <clears throat> one thing I do need to point out, this is what confused me. Here we are, let's zoom that in and you can see. So this is two here. However, see if you can spot the number two anywhere on the sprue near it. You can't because they've got a typo on their sprues. So that says five, that is actually five next to it here, okay. Um, and, oh no, I've got it wrong, I've got it wrong. Ha, ah, there we are, there's me being an idiot. There's me being an idiot. That's what it is, that's what it is. I knew there was a typo, but it's not that one. So. It, there is a typo, I was just putting in the wrong one. So, yeah, so if we look here, that there is your double barreled shotgun thing, double barreled Gatling gun, but it says three next to it. But on the instructions, it says that that, that should be number part two. Um, and on this side, this says two, and that should be 
three. That's where the typo was. I knew there was a typo. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get those clipped out and then I'll zoom in close up and you can see how I go about assembling those two together. All right, for all of my gluing on this, I'm going to make use of my Tamiya Extra Thin. And for making sure I don't spill it everywhere, I have this Edma Hobby Co. UK stand, which is just brilliant. I actually have two of them. Um, and I'm not sponsored or anything. I bought these all on my, on my own, and uh, so that's not a sponsored thing. It's just something that I think is really cool, and so I like to recommend it. So the first thing that we're going to do, and you're going to see just what I mean by being fiddly, is we're going to glue the part that's labelled as three on the on the instructions, but two on the sprue. I'm going to glue that on the end of the part that's labelled two on the instructions, but three on the sprue. <laughs> Got that? All right, so that goes like that. There we are. So the next thing that goes, and this is what I had lots of trouble with on the first one, um, is this actually needs to be glued. If we turn that over to that way around, I had a lot of trouble getting this to, um, let's see if I can zoom in even further. There we are. This needs to sit on top here, like so. And I had all the trouble in the world getting this to settle in properly and be right um, the first time. So I did get it working and um, yeah, I did get it working eventually. But what I think I actually ended up doing is leaving those apart until the next step, um, which is after we've glued them onto the sled. So I think the first thing that I did was I glued that in place, which slots in there nicely. And then once I glued that in place, let me get that into the right position. So we glue that in place, which has the hollow pointing up. So it slots in like that. And then I put the other piece on top. So we've got a little bit of my glue. And just then, if I hadn't had that in the sled, in, in its support thing, I would have spilled glue everywhere because I caught it with my hand. So yeah, just then. Right, so we glue that in there. And then this goes on top, pointing forwards and kind of kind of like that. It's a very fiddly thing to get in place and have it sit correctly is what I've found. And this is the thing that actually took me most of the time. The rest of the build is really easy. Um, so yeah, so I might even, I mean, if, we, if I bring my build in, you can see that there's a gap. Hold that still, get that in shot. There's a gap here. And that's this piece that I'm struggling with now. I never got it to sit and seat correctly. But you do need to do this next because after this, we're putting things over the top. So we do need to do this now. So we're just gonna give it a go. We're gonna put a little bit of the glue on top and uh, see whether we can't sit that in. Ooh. Sit there nicely this time and get it slightly better this second effort. There we are. So that's that. So zoom out a little bit and show you the next bits are the two part fives. The one that I thought was the typo but isn't. So that is this piece here and this piece here. So we'll get those snipped off now and then I'll show you where they go when they're snipped off. Right, while I've been assembling this, I actually accidentally knocked that part off that was really loose. And I think I've worked out what I've been doing wrong. If we turn this to one side and look at that on the side, you can see that this little, uh, that this clearly should um, butt up against that. And so I think I was actually putting it too far back. And if I reposition that slightly, that is now much, much more nicely positioned. And what I've now done is knocked one of part fives on the floor, I heard it drop. So I'm now gonna do that horrible dance, looking on the floor, looking for a part, and then when I found it, I'll be back and show you where the two part fives go. But at least I've solved that, and that's why I struggled so hard, and that's why there's a gap here. That should have been much, much further forwards. So that was a bit of a mistake on the first one. But on the second one, at least, I seem to have kind of like resolved that, made it actually a little bit better. I think I've got the glue in the wrong place now. So we'll glue there, glue there, and then drop it in place. I'm gonna find my drop part, hopefully very quickly, and I'll be back very shortly. All right, so I found that all right. It did spoing a second time. <laughs> I picked up uh, something on the floor and it was on top of it and it spoined across. 
but uh, fortunately that meant that I saw it and I was able to grab it before it disappeared again. Even without carpets, the carpet monster is strong. So what we've got here is we've got these little kind of like uh, uh, engines or they, they're, they're, um, they, they point down and these slot in just back here. Okay, so let's get some glue in and then you'll better see that a little bit easier. So put a double bit of glue in there, a bit of glue in there. And they go in with the engines pointing down because as I said, they are boosters. And they go in just like that. So we get the other side on and then I'll be uh, back for the next step, which is step three, which is um, putting the sides on and closing this little part of the build up and that's a good place to uh yeah oh knock that a bit too hard there we are so they go in there so the next bit uh oh do that a little bit make it easier that part and that part so i'm going to get those cut out now and then i'll show you where they stick all right so i've got those out and cleaned up and these go on the sides just like that so the one goes on the back on the, this side and then there's one will go on the other side. So to glue this in place, actually I'm gonna do it on this. We're just gonna come along where the where it's gonna to touch and just put a little bit of this glue in, not too much. Like so. There we are. And then turn it up and slide it on always much more clumsy doing this when the camera's running you do it really neatly when you're not filming but then when you are filming you make silly mistakes and make a mess so what we're now going to do is put the glue on the other one and turn it around the right way so it goes on that way around so put the glue on this one and stick this in place and that is up to we're up to step three there um, and then uh, the next bin is going to be building another sub-assembly. So I'll get this glued in place and turn the camera back on for the next step very, very shortly. I'm, I'm actually right now, while I'm filming this, um, the, if you can hear the computer whirring in the background, it's because I am currently editing or exporting the vlog. And um, I've got 18 minutes left on the export and I'm going to try and get as much of this done as I can in that time. So that was got very blurry because of autofocus, but there we are. That's how it looks like at the end of step three. And this time you can see that that is looking much nicer than my sorry state of affairs on this one where he's got this big hole in it. Maybe I'll call it battle damage. Let's see. All right, so step four, as I say, is the next uh, sub-assembly. We're going to take this piece here. So the um, main wings and uh, the top of the, uh, top of the, uh, thing, top of the sh ship, the two engines, so one here and one here, and then part nine, which is right there. So I'm going to get those snipped out, cleaned up, and then I'll be back to show you how they get assembled. All right, so these are all now cleaned up and uh, we're ready to do the next assembly. So how this works is, if I actually turn that around, that'll make it a little bit easier. So the part that was part nine slots in on the nose. And it's a little bit fiddly this, but it slots in, oh, I think it slots in the other way actually. Like that. And that is what uh, is going to be in underneath there. So let me just try and get that right. I'm actually questioning myself. Oh yeah, that's how it goes, that's how it goes. Sorry, so it slots in. Poink! Caught it. Ah, no, I'm completely wrong. It slots in inside there. It's actually the, uh, it's actually the cockpit. So we'll do that now. So it goes in at the back. It doesn't go towards the front at all. So we put that there, that there, a little bit of glue there, and it slots in. like so. So it fills in the gap on the top there. So that's the first part. There we are. Almost made a stupid mistake then. And then we have these two um, engines and um, 
I should have made note which was 10 and which was 11. But if I look at this, the large section goes inboard and they slot on, they just slot in here. And you can see that they fit in very nicely when you get them in the right place, like that. So we'll get a little bit of glue here. Make sure I get it in the right place. There we are. So along here and along there. There we are. And that is step four done. So I'll be back very shortly to show you step five. There we are. Step five in a second. Step five, we're going to take these bits here, which are the nacelles and parts of the engines. So I'll get these snipped out. They're marked as parts 13 and 12 on both the sprue and the instructions. So they've got the matching in this case. So I'll get these snipped out and cleaned up and then show you um, where they go. So hopefully I can get this nicely in shot. But if you can see here, these are keyed. So there's a little key at the top here, there and there. And on the actual piece that's going in, there's also a little key. See, right there. So that's how you line these up. This is part 12, which goes on the back. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on around there, like that. And then my hand will get in the way, apologies. And then we Oh, no, 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 that's the back. Ah, sorry, they are keyed. But that's actually part 13 that goes on there. There we are. Apologies, I've got myself all turned around. So it's actually these parts. And this also has the key, has a key on it. So if we look at it there, you can see there's the key just inside there. So uh, I wonder why that wasn't fitting. The larger one goes to the back, the smaller one to the front of this step. Tell I keep this honest, can't you? I'm not pretending here. <laughs> so that slots on over the top like that and oh, if you get it wrong you just like spin it around until it slots in there we are and now we're going to do the front one which works in the same way with a little bit of a key and drops in so put some glue in there and there is a key as you can see inside and there's a key on this one so you can drop that in spin it round until it slots in. Now this is slightly fiddlier because the wing gets in the way, but because of the key, it is easier than if it wasn't for the key. So as you can see, I managed to get that in there now. And we'll do the other side. And that is step five. So next up, I'm gonna do step six. I have seven minutes left on my editing or my exporting even so let's get that lined up there we are. you can see oh, oh i had it in and then i knocked it out there we are so you can see that's not spinning anymore and it's nicely aligned so we'll have a look at what step six is step six is getting parts 14 and 19 on both sides so 14 and 19 are there's part 14 just here at this end of the sprue if i can get that to work right there 14 and 19 is i saw 19 before 19 is over here, so there's 19. So I'll get those snipped out and then I'll show you where they go. And then um, I'll be back in a minute to, uh, yeah, to show where they go and then we'll move on to step seven. Let's get six, step six done. Okay, so they're now nicely cleaned up. And for this, what we're doing is we're putting part 14, which is uh, kind of little turbo fanny type things. And they're going in these end nacelles there. So I'll get that done. Ch -ch -ch -ch. So we put some glue in there. I haven't actually cleaned it up well enough. There's still a little bit of a, there we are, a little bit of a burr on that. And that slots in like so. There we are. So we'll do the other side. And then part 19 goes on the, um, equivalent just slightly in border that so if I get this slotted in truly is the case that doing this on camera 
you end up losing all of your coordination. Oh yeah, so they need to roll. That's it, got it, there we are. And then part 19 goes, these are some missile pods, and they go on here. And they are pointing forwards, and forwards is here. So you need to make sure you put them in the right way around. Otherwise you'll be annoyed at yourself. Though I suppose it could be like rear shooting missiles. <laughs> Which isn't the worst idea in the world. Sorry, I just completely whited out the shot then by putting my camera, my, my uh, nice shiny um, white jumper on there. So now we're going to move on to step seven. Step seven are these, are these cool little kind of like angled bits. You can see there, there and there. So I'll get those cut out, cleaned up, share where they go. And then we're into the final assembly. We've nearly finished. Right, so parts 15 go on the outside and they are mirror images of each other. So they have an angle, um, which is means that they angle slightly out away from the center. So we put some glue down in the little trench where they fit in and slot that in like that and you can see the angle that you're looking to achieve there and then we'll do the other side as well and then part 15 goes in the middle and slots into this slot at the back here and look at me applying glue on my left hand <laughs> and slots in and it kind of slides in like so so those are our wings at the end and now we bring in our first sub-assembly and put our second sub-assembly on and look at how much better that fits. I'm really, really annoyed at myself that I got that, uh, that I made a mistake. Uh, it was such a, a faff, I had such a struggle with it that I should have realized that I was doing it wrong really um, and looked more closely. But hey, I don't pretend to be perfect in any way, shape or form in any part of my life. And that just demonstrates why. So put some glue there and then that slides on and look at how much nicer that is at the front there now. If we put that, if we compare that to my other one, you'll see just what a difference that is gonna make. So that's what it should look like. And that's what it shouldn't look like. With that kind of like duck bill look. But anyway, never mind. So there we are. So that's the main assembly. We'll put that to one side now, let that dry. Um, and we're gonna start to look at these uh, weapons so you get lots of different types of weapons in this kit these are the ones that i made and are left over from the first one and um, you can see on the sprue if i just zoom out a little bit you can see on the sprue we've got all all the options here now i think on this one i'm going to go for these heavy heavy bolter i think they are. i have no idea i have no idea i'm going to go for these shorter ones because i went for quite long ones on my first model as you can see um, and they fit out, stick out quite a lot so it'd be quite nice to um, be quite nice to to do them a little bit uh, just look into this I've actually oh goodness me I've actually done them wrong right so let me quickly do that so I put these in wrong I put these in backwards I've just noticed goodness me right let's zoom that in and I'll show you so these actually as illogically as it is they need to slot in the other way around so the um, so the, the flat part goes forwards. It's a good thing I noticed. So as you can see with these, with that glue that I use, you do have a little bit of working time. Um, not much, but you do have a bit. Um, so almost did those backwards. <laughs> there we are. So that's how it should look. So the serrated part should go forwards. The serrated part should go forwards. There we are. And they are now. They are now in, and actually also missed the part as well. So part 20 needs to glue in. So these two little covers here need to go in over the top. And looking at it, I also didn't put them in on my original one. How embarrassing. Right, so I'm going to get parts 20 glued in. And then what I'm going to do is um, uh, I'm going to then cut out the uh, uh, 24 and 25 parts that are here and glue those together and uh, then I'll show you how the, those go in on the sides, and then we'll be done. Right, so this part is particularly fiddly, and I've also realized I didn't miss it out on the first kit, so that's good. So I don't know if you can see as well there, but there's a little key here, 
Um, and if we look on here, there's a little key there. Um, and that is how that joins together. So um, I will, I, I've managed to get the first one in. Um, and I didn't, I, I needed to not be filming that because it is so fiddly. I'm gonna try and do it now on camera and see how badly I muck it up. I mucked it up very badly. So you see, I dropped it upside down. So uh, yeah, now you can laugh at me while I get this positioned. So I use my knife to flip it over and use my knife to turn it around. I do have tweezers. I just didn't want to stand up. There we are, well that wasn't too bad at all. There we are, so that's now in place. So I haven't, I've just spent all that time and I've actually started uploading my vlog now. Um, so we're gonna snip these four off now and I'll be back very shortly to show you how they go together and then that is completed. Okay, so I've got those um, out of the sprue. So what we're gonna do now is get some glue, run it around the inside there and then find the right one, that one. Then it, it kind of just easily slots together like so. Sorry, that wasn't very well done in, in shot. It's a bit fiddly this. And then I'm looking for, here we are. This is part 21, which slots in to that little gap there. So get some glue on that. And then they go with the, let me just put that in there and you can see. So it slots in like so. And that's kind of like a, I think it's a, like a sight guide or something like that. I'm not sure, a laser targeting device. And so that's how one of the guns is. And then these guns, this is the last thing, so I've nearly done, are slotted in to the side of the machine like that. So a little bit of glue. You can obviously magnetize these, but I don't. I haven't been, not no desire to do that for these ones. So they just slot in like that. So I'll get the second gun done, glue that on the side, and then um, be back with uh, some pictures and an outro. Of course, I've remembered there is actually an extra step and I'm gonna put surface primer on both of these. So I've put them onto their bases just to give me something to hold on to. And uh, as you can see, um, I just use a cheap hobby brush. It's actually something from a local super supermarket, Kaufland. Um, and it's certainly good enough for applying my primer over this. Keep it, put it on not too thick, but not too thin. And uh, yeah, then I'm gonna get them painted. And the painting part I will do over on my an average painter channel so you can go and look for that because I'll try and have both the videos out at the same time. So I'll get these primed up, I'm not going to film it all, literally what you see here and uh, yeah the next steps will be on the other channel. So thanks for watching this, hope this has been as interesting as as the other one and uh, yeah once this is done I'll take some pictures and then we'll do the outro. Well I was just about to Prime up this one and I've realized that I did actually miss something so you can see that there's a little notch there and on the other side over here and in there I should actually put parts that are here so parts 18 so uh, those little kind of like that bit there and that bit there so what I'm going to do is cut those out, I'll show you where they go in, glue them in and then I have to let that to dry before I can prime this one the, uh, the first one is done and dusted um, but yeah I'm glad I noticed that because that was nearly a silly mistake. So you can see I've got it glued in on that side so what I'm going to do now is just very quickly put a little bit of glue in that little notch and then get my hand right in the way so you can't see anything that's going on and uh, slide that in and there we are we have it glued in place. So that's what was missing that's the final step I will now let that dry and then uh, primer it like the other one, which I'll have to do a bit later now because I've got to go. Um, and then that really will, I promise, third clip in the row that I've said it's done, get some pictures of them primed and uh, then we'll get them over to the painting bench.
Well, there we are, as I say, made a silly mistake uh, on that front part of the first model, but I managed to pick it up and then almost made some silly mistakes on the second one, <laughs> but picked them up just before I got the priming done. And I think they're looking pretty good. So I'm excited to get these to the painting bench. I'm excited to see what they look like. I've picked out my color scheme and uh, yeah, I'm excited to show them to you. So I hope that you'll go across and watch that video as well once you finish this one. And if you're watching this, I thank you very much for getting to the end. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you're into Aeronautica Imperialis and if you've made these. And if if you made the same mistake as I did or if I'm just a klutz and uh, and uh, should never go near a model kit again <laughs> um, just whichever you want to say I'd love to read all those comments they really do inspire me uh, I'll wrap up by saying as I always do thank you very much for watching and to everyone please do stay healthy stay safe and stay well